Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, people of all ages, how are you guys doing? My name is Blocks, and welcome to my channel. And first off, I'd like to welcome you to my tutorial on showing you guys how to download too many items for 1.7.10. That is right. Now, without further ado, there's a couple things that you are going to need. You're going to need notebook, notepad, something in that format, and you're also going to need either 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now, before you get started on those, I do not have any way for you guys to get either of those programs. If you have them, then that is great. Keep them. Otherwise, I know you can get WinRAR for a trial version. And 7-Zip, I'm not entirely sure. So definitely check those out. I don't have links for them. So those are what you're going to need. Now, first off, in the link down in the description, you guys will find a link to this website. This is the Minecraft Too Many Items. If you guys don't want to click on the link, you guys can just Google too many items and it's gonna be the very first one and it's gonna pop up on a minecraft forum now the very first thing you're gonna want to do is you have a couple options you can do this with forge or you can do this with non forge today we're gonna be doing it with non forge that's right so you're gonna click that very top one right there once you've got that done it's gonna take you to an ad fly once you're done with the ad fly you're gonna wait five seconds up in this top right corner right here and you're gonna click Skip ad. Now, if you have ad blocker, it will not show this. So you want to make sure your ad blocker is off. So you can click skip ad, and then down here in the bottom left, it downloads. Whoa, look at that. So you're going to just download that right to your desktop, and you can exit out of your window. Boom, look at that. So now I'm going to pause for a sec, hopefully give you guys a little cool down so you guys can get to the next step. Next thing you're going to want to do is open up your Minecraft. Wait for that bad boy to load. Get that launcher all ready. And once you are all good, in the bottom left, it should be saying edit profile. But in the right, you want to make sure that it says play Minecraft 1.7.10. Not download and play. It has to say play so that the files can be created. And I will show you in just a second. So uh, once you have that on the right, on the left side, it says edit profile. You're going to click on that and open your game directory. Here, you're going to go to versions right here in the middle. And this is the 1.7.10. As you can see, I have Forge, Optifine, a bunch of others that you really don't have to worry about. The only thing we're worried about is this 1.7.10, nothing attached. So, this, if you do not have that file, this is why you're going to want to click that Play. So, download and play so that the files can be created in the versions folder. So, now you can go ahead and exit out of your Minecraft. So, once you're here, you have two options. If you don't want this mod this 1.7.10 without the mod anymore like say you just launch the mod then you're gonna just leave it open or leave it like this and we're gonna go now if you want to have a backup you can copy and repaste the folder so you have two options you can go to 1.7.10 without too many items or 1.7.10 with too many items at the moment I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with too many items so what you're gonna want to do is right click on your 1.7.10 and go down to rename then it should turn blue. You're going to want to click after the 10 and type underscore capital T-O-O-M-A-N-Y items, just like I have a little above. So once you've got that done, you're going to want to go and edit again so that you can copy the last part that you just did because you're going to have to type it a couple of times. So if you just copy it, then it's perfectly fine. So hit enter, open that up, and now you're left with a jar file and a JSON file. The JSON file, you're going to want to go open with and choose notepad in this case it's already in notepad now if it's a jar file on the top one you're gonna to wanna to go open with and make sure it's a WinRAR archiver not the Java, the Java platform it has to be WinRAR or 7-zip okay so once you've got that done now we're gonna go ahead and change both these files after the 10 to right click to paste so that it says 1.7.10 too many items just like the very first one and you're gonna do the exact same to the very top right click paste and there you go so once you've got that done you're gonna open up the JSON file and it should be in notepad so in the very top left you're actually you're gonna see all this you don't have to worry about any of this none of this except for in the top left it says 1.7.10 in between quotation marks at the end of the 10 you're gonna do the exact same thing and click paste so that it implements the too many items once you that once you've got that done just go file save command control s and you can exit out of that now 
This part's going to get a little bit tricky, but it's not going to be too hard that you're not going to understand it. Here, you're going to open up the jar file, and it should be in WinRAR. Then you're also going to open up the too many items on your desktop, and that should be in WinRAR as well. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go and select on the too many items plat on the too many items side. You're going to go file, and you're going to go select all, which otherwise you can go as Control A if you're really curious. So once you've got select all, you're going to take those and drag it into the 1.7.10 underscore too many items. Then this archive name in par or parameters is going to open up. You're just going to want to click OK, and it's going to download everything for you. So here, you can exit out your too many items on the left, and just have the 1.7.10 open. And you can exit out of the back folder if you'd like. So now you have just this 1.7.10 too many items open. Now here you have a meta inf that's going to prevent you from using or making mods or changing your Minecraft. So what you're going to want to do is just click on it and click delete on your click on your keyboard and you're going to click yes to delete it. Now that just makes it so you can now change up your Minecraft and add mods. So once you've got that done, you can go exit right out of it and you should be good to go. Now we're going to make sure with it by opening up our Minecraft. Once your Minecraft is open, you're going to want to go to edit profile and under use versions, you're going to want to create a new profile and go to use versions and click on release 1.7.10 underscore too many items. And it should be right there. Once you that got that done, just click save profile and you will now have 1.7.10 too many items. Now this is with the mod. Okay. So once you've got that done, click the play button and it's going to download the realms. And once you've got that all ready, your Minecraft is going to open for you in 1.7.10 with too many items. Okay, so now your Minecraft is actually all good. Now you're going to want to do is go single player, or it does not work in multiplayer. So we're just going to go on a single player world just to double check and show you guys that it actually works for 1.7.10. So here we are in my world, just a creative world. And if you click E on your keyboard or your inventory, you can now see that you have too many items on your 1.7.10. Now, if you no longer want it, or if you want to hide it for some reason, you can press O on your keyboard, which then shows or dis or vanishes the too many items mod. So these are all, we'll run through these very fast. If you want to delete mode, which means you can delete any of these saves, you have survival, creative, adventure mode. You can also set the weather the time of day, the difficulty, your health, and remove any potion effects that you have. And you can also grab any sort of items that you want on your regular Minecraft. So hopefully this all helps out. Now if you have any other further questions, please leave a comment down in the description. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor and click that like button. If you're brand new to my channel, you might as well click that subscribe button because there's going to be tons of new mods out there. And if there's any other mods you'd like to see, please do me a favor and click that or in the comments below, comment the mod that you guys want to see. Hopefully that works out for you. Now, this is the end of the tutorial. Now, if you have any further questions, like I said, comment down in the description. I'm going to show you right now how to get rid of the mod if you don't want it. But this is the end of the tutorial, and I hope that you guys enjoyed yourself. If you want to stay tuned, please go ahead. So at this point in time, we're going to go edit profile, open game directory, go to versions, and right here on 1.7.10, if you just click delete, it will remove it. Then you're going to exit out of your Minecraft, open it back up, and you're going to go to latest versions. Here, we're going to open it back up, and then you're no longer going to have 1.7.10. So what you're going to need to do is go replay it. So it, you're going to re-download the files like we talked about in the beginning. So at the moment, it still says 1.7.10. But if you were to delete it, it would say download and play. So then your files would be created. And then you have a fresh set of your Too Many Items mod if you did not create a copy in the beginning. Hopefully this works out for you. If you have any other questions, please, once again, leave your comments down in the description. Do me a favor, click that like button. And if you're brand new, once again, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. And as always, please remember to wash your hands. Bye now.